Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I want to apologize that I haven't posted a video here in the last couple weeks. I have been waiting on getting my lift installed. So I now have a two post lift here in my shop. It's going to make working on the MR2 so much easier. I've already been using it for quite a bit of stuff on here, getting ready to drop the uh, 3S to put this 2GR in. So, But that is the reason that I haven't been posting any videos here in the last couple weeks. Now it's installed, I'll get back to running these videos. So what we're going to focus on today, I'm going to make this kind of quick and short. Um, uh, we're going to talk about modifying the block for the 2GR to mate up to the E153 transmission. There's a couple things you have to grind down in clearance, and then there is a hole that you do have to go ahead and tap uh, and put a helicoil or any number of other options into that to add in another uh, threaded bolt hole for the transmission to mate up to. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off, get it positioned on the engine itself, and we'll show you what we've got here, what needs to happen. Unfortunately, I had video footage of me actually doing the work. Somewhere along the lines in the last couple weeks, it's uh, disappeared from my, uh, my storage, and so I don't have that video. So what I'm going to do uh, while I'm going ahead and going over some stuff, I'm going to post up a picture uh, with some arrows showing what it is that I'm talking about so that you can see the before and the after. That way you know exactly what it is that needs to come off, what it should look like when you're done, and that should help you to, to understand a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera around, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so looking at the end of the 2GR block, there's a couple different places that we're going to be doing some modifications. If we start on <clears throat> excuse me, the right side of the motor, if you're looking into it, there is going to be a little square that sticks out right here that can be completely chopped off. We'll go ahead and zoom in on that here in a moment. There's going to be this little rounded beveled edge that needs to be ground down. There is a bolt hole here that is threaded through, so you do have to be careful not to go too deep on that. There's a spot right up here on the right hand side that needs to be ground down. There is this hole here that is going to need to be uh, tapped and then threaded or uh, put an insert into it. We have a spot over here where the clutch slave cylinder is going to hit without some clearancing. And then we have another block down here on this side that needs to be cut off. So if we go ahead and we start here on the right hand side, I'll move the camera. Around. And hopefully that allows you to see this. Right down here is going to be a like oh, a three quarter inch chunk of aluminum that just sticks out. It's just a square block. You can cut that off almost completely flush with the block right here. Um, you can see above and below where the original casting is. You can go ahead and simply cut that down and grind it down. And right above that, you're going to have this bolt hole that's going to need to be ground down and smoothed out so that it does not hit on the transmission when you bolt the transmission on. Same thing right above that <clears throat> is going to be a hump that needs to come out. This little hole here is not used. The one above it, <clears throat> excuse me, is just a uh, dead-ended hole, so it's not used either. So you can go ahead and grind this down completely flat and smooth on this bottom one. This upper one doesn't hit, so you don't need to worry about it. But you can just grind this almost completely flat and smooth on this side here. Up on the top here on this section, there is this hole next to this dowel pin. And this hole is slightly too big to simply tap for the correct size bolt that is needed. So what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to drill it out to the next size larger and then put some sort of an insert in there. A, <clears throat> excuse me, a time cert or a, um, there's a couple different companies that make inserts here. What I went ahead and did is I bought these little guys. They're actually a spark plug insert. It's an M12 by 125 spark plug insert, but they are the correct inside thread uh, pitch and, and diameter for the bolt that you're going to need on that hole. The reason I went with these is that a Time cert or any of the other ones are quite expensive, 20, 30, 40 dollars for the kit. I got both of these for I think two dollars and twenty cents a piece or something like that. 
Um, the company that I went to is threadtoolsupply.com. And what you are going to want is part number 9329-1208. It's an easy lock spark plug insert M12125 ID with a 5818 OD. Um, what that allows you to do is use a standard 5818 um, tap to go into that hole. So you'll drill it out just slightly bigger. You'll run that tap in. Then you can simply take your bolt, run a lock nut down onto it where you want that depth at, and then simply use the bolt to screw that into that hole. Save you some money over buying one of the actual kits, and it should work just as well. I will post back if I haven't any issues with that, but that should work just as well for you. Moving around to the other side here. This spot right here is where the clutch master cylinder, or excuse me, slave cylinder is going to mount off of the transmission when it's bolted. This is actually completely solid right here where my finger's at when you get the, the factory block. So you do actually have to cut this uh, chunk out completely. It would be similar to the other side here where it's solid. You can notch that out and then grind it down smooth uh, to make it so that it fits. <clears throat> down here on the bottom is the last spot. You can actually see this little bit of threaded spot right here. There's actually a full metal aluminum, or excuse me, aluminum block that comes off about the same as the other side. It's about an inch and well, three quarters or one inch that comes off. That bolt hole is not needed. So you can simply cut that clean off and then smooth that down. You'll still end up having about a quarter of that bolt hole there with the threads inside of it. But as long as you cut it down smooth so it kind of matches the arc here, you'll be good to go. The way you know that you're on the correct one there is you're on the lower part, which is actually part of the oil pan. You're not actually on the block. There is a bolt hole just above where the oil pan and the block meet. That's not the one that you want to cut off. You want to make sure that you're down here on this square that does come out where this bolt hole goes through. What I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and post a picture up showing these all with a red arrow so that you can go ahead and simply match up the picture with this completed block. Uh, you can also look at it with yours so that you can see what spots that you need to go ahead and grind off. And hopefully that will eliminate any confusion as to what it is that you need to, to remove. Again, You'll have this spot right here. You'll have the one tab that comes off or block that comes off down here. You'll have the bolt hole up here that has to be drilled and threaded. You'll have a little rounded area right here. And you'll have this bolt hole that has to be ground down just a little bit around the outside edge. And then lastly, that tab down here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll be posting another video here shortly on uh, a few of the other things that I've got, but as you may be able to see, my motor is getting pretty close to being done. I've got intake on, I've got my wiring harness back from Paul Woods over at Woodsport. I have gotten my valve covers painted, got my headers mounted. So I'm getting fairly close to getting ready to actually be able to put this in the car. I'm hoping to do that here within the next week and a half to two weeks. And I will definitely be posting a video on some of that stuff for you as well. So hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.